Hi, this is Jeff at Obedia, and today I'm going to talk about the session setup window in Pro Tools. The way we get to it is we go to the setup drop down menu, and it's right here where it says session. There's also a shortcut that is control number pad 2 on the PC or command number pad 2 on the Mac. So this is the window. Most of the time, you'll be only dealing with the first window format, and this is where we can easily see what our current sample rate, bit depth, audio format, whether it's interleaved or not, clock source, any system delay, pan depth, which determines the amount of signal attenuation when a track is routed to a stereo output and panned to center. You also have on the right side here the session start, how long the complete session is, any incoming time code readings, the session time code rate, feats and frames, and a secondary time code rate. Going down here, we have some options for using an Avid sync box. There are a few more options in the HD version, but this is the regular version of Pro Tools, so this is what shows up. If it's necessary to set up time code offsets, this is where you do it. And there's some other time code related settings here such as external time code offsets that let you compensate for devices that are consistently offset by a fixed number of frames. Example, some color corrected video masters. You've got your freewheel on the bottom here, which determines how Pro Tools will freewheel, or in other words, continue playback if time code is interrupted or corrupted. This option will help protect against errors that can occur if your time code source has dropouts or temporarily lost signals. Finally, your pull-up and pull-down rate. If the media, whether it's audio or video, is at a different time code or frame rate than your session, you have various settings here that allow you to match those with a maximum of 4% pull-up or pull-down. If you guys are not doing post-production, a lot of the last parts will not be really relevant to you, but I just wanted to cover those in this video. But the important thing to remember is if you ever need to see what format settings your session is, such as sample rate, bit depth, and audio format, and or you need to change those on the fly, this is where you'd go. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for checking out the video. Mm -hmm.